Hello, friends. Welcome to your Monday Storytime Short. I'm Miss Abby from the La Crosse Public Library, and I'm here to give you your little dose of story time on this very wintry day. So let's get started. I think I might have the perfect book for a day like today. The book I chose is called Sunny by Celia Crampin. Do you see Sunny? This is Sunny on the front cover. And what is she dressed for? What is she all ready for? That's right, a rainstorm. I know it's not raining today, but it is really wintry out there. And if you look very closely, you can see all the rain clouds. Sunny by Celia Crampin. Most people do not like rainy days. Most people would say there is nothing good about trudging to school on a rainy day while the wind crawls up your sleeves and puddles soak your boots, making your footsteps squish and squash. That is what most people would say. But not Sunny. Sunny thought this day was the perfect day to use her big yellow umbrella. And it was. Until a big gust of wind came along. Now, most people would say that being pulled through the air by an umbrella was a bad sort of situation, but not Sunny, who felt like a bird soaring high above the little town below. But soon the town below was replaced by a stormy sea. Now, most people would agree that being blown out to sea was an awful, terrible sort of situation. But not Sunny, who liked watching the white-capped waves rolling and tumbling over one another. Then the sea started to get a little too close. Down, down, down she fell. Do you see her falling? But who is with her that whole time? Her seagull friend. Now, being trapped in a small boat and adrift on a stormy sea is what most people would call a horrible, dreadful, and ghastly sort of situation. But not Sunny, who thought she preferred boating just now to swimming. That's when the big wave came. Now, most people would say that things were looking exceedingly bleak. 
that being stuck on a rock in a boat surrounded by a stormy sea was probably as bad as things could get. But not Sunny, who thought things weren't that bad because at least she wasn't alone. But then she was. Now, most people would probably cry at this point. And this time, that's exactly what Sunny did. But then, see what's coming, friends? One bird, five birds, and a whole bunch of birds. Do you see what they're doing for Sunny? There's a bald eagle and a heron, a Canada goose, a mallard, even a robin. What are they doing for her? They're helping. Up, up, up she rose. She was lifted off the rock over a less stormy sea, over the little town. and sat down just where she needed to be. Now, most people would say that being late for school was a bad kind of situation, but not Sunny. She thought that just this once, her teacher, would understand. And there's her little seagull friend. All right, friends, that was Sunny by Celia Crampin. I hope you enjoyed that book. Would you like to be lifted through the air in a boat by birds? I think that might be kind of exciting. All right, friends, are you ready to sing a song with me? If you have something to wave, I'd love for you to go grab that now. So I have my scarf. You can use a scarf or a dish towel, a washcloth, a sock, a toy, whatever you have to wave, or you can always just use your fingers too. We're gonna sing a song called Little Raindrops. So first we're gonna squish our scarf up kind of small and we're gonna shake it up and down. These are our little raindrops. And then we're gonna make it a little bit bigger and we'll, we're gonna wave it a little bit higher and a little bit lower. These are our bigger raindrops. And then we're gonna take our scarf and spread it apart and really stretch up and down. And these are our giant raindrops. All right, friends, do you think you can help me sing little raindrops? Ready? Little raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Little raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Now can we make our scarves bigger? Bigger raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Very good, friends. Now can we spread our scarf out? And these are giant raindrops. Ready? Giant raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Giant raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Good job, friends. All right, we're going to try that one more time, but this time we're going to 
pat our hands on our knees, okay? Or our legs. If you wanna stand up and stomp, you can do this too. So first, our little raindrops are gonna be really soft, gentle pats. Can you hear that? Then our larger raindrops are gonna be a little bit bigger. And our giant raindrops, you can stomp too, okay? So if you're standing up, you can really stomp for our giant raindrops. All right, friends, let's sing that one more time. Ready? Little raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Little raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Can we make our raindrops bigger? Ready? Bigger raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Now let's use our feet this time and make them really giant. Are you ready? Giant raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Giant raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Good job, friends. Thank you for singing that song with me. You could always sing it again. And instead of raindrops, you could sing snowflakes because it's snowing. All right, friends, I have one more thing for us to do. We are going to find some button today, but instead of a mouse or a cat, we're going to find a bird because Sunny had help from all those birds. So we're gonna say, Little bird, little bird, where are you? And we'll look under one of these shapes. Can you help name the shapes for me? We have a red heart, a blue triangle, a purple square, a yellow diamond, and an orange circle. All right, friends. Can you help me find a bird? I think you can. Let's try it. Let's say, little bird, little bird, where are you? Are you under the red heart? Should we look? One, two, three. No bird. Should we give up? No, let's keep trying. Let's try the blue triangle next. Little bird, little bird, where are you? Are you under the blue triangle? One, two, three. Oh, no bird. Hmm. How about the purple square next? Little bird, little bird, where are you? Are you under the purple square? One, two, three. We found our bird. Do you know what kind of bird this is? They live around here. We'll start seeing them in the spring. This is a red winged blackbird. We found her. Hmm, we still have two more shapes though. Do you think we should keep looking? Let's try it. I don't want to give up no, yet. Let's look under our yellow diamond. Okay. Little bird, little bird, where are you? Are you under our yellow diamond? One, two, three. Huh. Nothing under the diamond. We have one shape left. Should we look there or should we say goodbye? I think we should look there too. Let's try it. Little bird, little bird, where are you? Are you under the orange circle? One, two, three. I'm glad we kept looking because we have another little bird. And so now our two bird friends can be together. All right, friends, thank you so much for helping me find my birds and listening to that story. 
it's time to say goodbye, but I just wanted to remind your grown-ups that we have a longer story time tomorrow morning as well as Thursday morning. We have a new baby group Thursday morning on Zoom, and Miss Barb and I will be doing yoga Friday morning on Zoom, and then there's another short story time on uh, YouTube as well Friday morning. So we have a lot going on. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at the library, um, either on our website or by giving us a call. All right, friends, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay dry and warm. Bye-bye.